Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live and in effect on an unusual Friday night indeed. And things are changing literally by the minute, it seems like, uh, these days. And uh, so we're going to discuss some of the market as well as go through some of these comments as well, like we usually do. We do a comment review, and we do that during our market watch as well. And a lot of the comments will discuss the market too, so it's all apropos. Um, but just breaking news here, as of the as of, uh, start of this video, the, the markets before they closed down, they started to recover after Trump's press conference uh, announcing the uh, state of emergency, which opens up you know, billions of dollars uh, for fighting the uh, COVID-19 virus. Stack toilet paper, not silver, says Maximus Silver Stacker. Exactly right. That's the thing to do. It's like gold, that toilet paper is. Boy, I tell you what, people are going crazy. It's, it's as if this was Montezuma's revenge or something. It's insane in the membrane. But let's start here with a little bit of a, of comments. And But I want to get some of your feedback on some of the economic repercussions and uh, and the markets and what your feelings are about gold and silver are as well too, both from the comment side and the chat here inside for the live stream. Gary Coover, I want a gold coin with Barbara Carbone on it. Now, there you go. That would be a beautiful coin and probably sell like hotcakes. Yes, indeed. By the way, we only have seven, well, seven here. Only one person in the chat here. So far, it's just Maximus. And Rufus is here. All right, very good. We think about Silver Krugerrands. I think they're pretty nice. Um, the first year they came out in 2017, it was a million mintage, way overpriced. They ended up did coming back down, but um, uh, I think they're a pretty good bullion coin. And they're one of the newer ones in the market, but yeah, if you get them for a cheap price, it's a good way to go. These are bullion cowards. Silver's at 15 bucks an ounce. Hopefully, it will go down more. So we can all get cheap silver. Yes, indeed. Opportunity buy. That's exactly right. We talk about that in today's video. Metal detecting. Metal for detecting. Very nice, Sal. On the last dip, bought a one ounce platinum platypus. Congratulations. I don't see many Perth Mint items pop up at that price. I'm willing to buy it. But the Perth Mint makes some awesome coin for sure. Awesome. Well, congratulations, Metal for detecting. A great buy for that one. Silver Wolverine's here. Terry79 is here. Grow Mechanic is here. Good to see you guys. And Hawaii Silver is here. Aloha to you. All right. Donald in New Mexico is here. Hello, Donald. Good to see you, sir. Silver Honda says, beautiful gold double dragon. I'm not sure if I've seen the 2020 silver double dragon yet. I don't see it advertised on Atmex. I was wanting to see kitty cats again at the end of your video. Yeah, kitty cats are kind of, um, I have to kind of place them in play. They're not as naturally uh, attuned to this Silver Honda, but thank you, sir. And, um... Uh, I don't know if they're going to make a 2020 yet either. Maybe they will. Uh, we shall see. But I know they made a 2019. By the way, Spectacular is here. You're going to want to stay tuned. I think it's 8 o'clock. He has got the latest in the Salvation Nation tour. Um, even if that wasn't happening, uh, you should still subscribe to Spectacular. He's got a great channel. But he has got a special video uh, with the Salvation Nation round. Looking forward to seeing it. Yes, indeed. Very good. And also, um, Silver Heist, I think, is going to have a live stream or a, a video premiering, I think, later as well, too. Uh, you want to check that out? It is the, um, oh, what is it? A gold, a gold kookaburra. Uh, no, gold something. I forgot what it was. I don't have it handy. Hello, Rick Smith. Good to see you. Silver Smith is, by the way, uh, is, uh, it was some, let's see here. Who was he? Rick Smith is here, but Silver Smith says, weird. In the movie Castaway, Tom Hanks was isolated with Wilson. Now he's isolated with Rita Wilson. I know how ironic that is. Let's slurp for that. Slurp for the, uh, Terry. Because Terry is the only one of the Sal gal who is here. Um, let's see here. Silver Wolverine is prepared. He should trade toilet paper for silver. 160 bottles of, of water. We've got a pretty good supply of water here too. And a sufficient supply of, of rolls of toilet paper. All right, very good. 8 p.m. Eastern Time. 8 p.m. Eastern Time is the time to stay tuned uh, to Spectacular's channel. All right, there's no shortage of Salivate Metal Rounds, by the way, just so you guys understand. Plenty of those over at Atmex. Reasonably priced, too, now since price has gone down. Um, Silver Honda, according to Kitco, 
Silver's at fourteen eighty-five. Crazy. I bought it when it was fourteen sixty-four, but uh, I uh, got incurred, had to pay taxes on that son of a biscuit. Well over another silver eagle. Crazy. Rocky Superstar. It's a beautiful coin. The metals market is just crazy. It sure is. It is crazy. All right. Barbara's here. Hello, Barbara. She's driving. Good to see Barbara Carbone. Welcome. Here's a slurp in your honor as you drive, Barbara. Yes, indeed. Mmm. Ah, very good. Colonic Stackers here. Bob Hill says, as I'm watching this a day later, silver's below 15 bucks an ounce. I'm planning on buying any... I wasn't planning on buying anytime soon, but if it goes down much more, I probably will invest some and cut down spending in other areas for a while. Might not be a bad idea. In fact... You're not alone. There's a lot of people who are making buys right now, for sure, with these dips, especially in silver. Gold is dipped, but it's not anywhere near the lows that we had seen not too long ago. John P. is here. Hello. Yes, water is good, John Mechanic. All right. Soon you can drive up to Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, and get tested for the Mexican beer flu thanks to Trump Pence. Yes, that's right. Exactly right. Uh, they're working with private. That's part of what they talked about in the press conference. Um, I, I would say, I would, I would say this, that I don't understand all the criticism of Trump over this, but I do understand it. It's pure politics. And I know Trump, Trump plays politics too. In fact, even his press conference, he, he, he took a little, uh, jab at the, uh, Obamacare, uh, website. And I think that he shouldn't have done that, but, uh, make no mistake. Uh, you know, Trump could cure cancer and they they would, uh, they would find some fault with him. No matter what he does, they're going to, they're going to, you know, he's a fighter and that's one thing he will fight back no matter what, but make no mistake, the guy is going to get hit um, and get criticized till the day he dies. Even when he's long gone out of office, he's going to be, he's going to be uh, uh, criticized. Bill 457, that's uh, nice. That's where I got my 10th ounce gold kooks. If you can split pay with, uh, which is nice. Okay, very cool. All right, I split pay. Yeah, I guess some places do offer that. Hopefully, they don't charge interest for that, but that is pretty cool. Silver is fourteen seventy nine. As I type this, I know the deplorable. It is crazy indeed. Crazy, crazy. All right, very good. All right, uh, Kevin W. Very nice. Did you check out uh, with the silver stacker? Uh, let's see here. Mm, not sure. Check out with the silver stack. I'm not sure I understand that question, Kevin W. Uh, let's see. Terry79 says Trump is perfect. No, by no means perfect. And he's, you know, I'm not saying that, obviously. I've, And some of the criticism, obviously, is warranted. But, um, you know, but the thing is, is, is uh, there's some that will criticize no matter what, even in a, in a situation like this that really we should be bipartisan on. Because we try to keep everybody as... As healthy as possible and safe. John P., thanks for your response. I may get my first palladium this weekend. Yeah, very cool. Thanks, John P. I tell you what, palladium is getting to the territory where it might be, it is becoming somewhat affordable. You know what I mean? It's somewhat a little bit more affordable, but it's still pretty high, though. But yeah, it's crazy how far palladium has fallen. It's nuts. Uh, Barbara says because he's a horrible person, he works for himself and makes decisions uh, way late. Uh, than he should be. Well, uh, Barbara, compared to Obama uh, in 2009, where a thousand deaths had occurred from the swine flu before an emergency declaration was made, no criticism from the media or anything like that. Testing kits, they were short on testing kits. I heard uh, a clip from a news report back then. They talked about that. And, um, and so if you want to compare um, you know, with the response that that uh, that he had, and I think that Trump, for all the heat he's taken, the uh, uh, the the prestige of being president, uh, probably uh, is not worth it. What he's been doing, but he is a fighter, and he is going to fight back. And uh, and obviously, when he fights back, he's getting he's going to get pushed back. Obviously, uh, but uh, I think that Trump is doing everything he can. And he did a lot early on, early on. He, what did he do? He stopped travel from China at the end of January. At the end of January, he did that. He took proactive, unprecedented action. And now, in his message the other day, he stopped uh, travel from Europe because that's the hot spot over there. So I think Trump's doing a lot right in this in dealing with the, uh, the coronavirus. Sure, he's making some mistakes. 
Um, you know, and we can uh, certainly agree that there's some mistakes that he made. He's by no means perfect. Um, and I'm not, just because I'm going to vote for the guy does not mean that he's immune from criticism or just because he's doing things that, uh, that uh, uh, fall in line with my ideology does not mean that he is above criticism. But on the same time, I think something like this, uh, the criticism, if there's going to be criticism, criticism has got to be legitimate. Um, and most of the Democratic uh, criticism of, of, of Trump over this especially, but many other things, is completely just eye-rolling political BS. Um, and uh, it's really a shame that they're, that they're being playing politics. The Democrats are acting much worse, much, much worse than Trump is in terms of uh, uh, civility. Um, and I know Trump is not very civil at times. He's unpresidential, but um, I am proud more proud today than ever before to be able to cast my vote for the president of the United States come November the uh, the third. All right, very good. All right, hey Roy is here. You people, now is a good time to buy silver. It really is. Uh, it will not save you in a disaster. Remember this past week, uh, stack food and lead. That's right. Um, if you buy it as an opportunity buy, you know what I mean. Uh, so let's see here. Very good. Greetings. Hello, Len D. All right. Trump's a stacker for sure, says older man. All right. And, of course, Donald's going to say Trump is doing a lousy job with the coronavirus. Well, Donald, in your mind, Trump is always doing a lousy job. Trump is doing a lousy job when he wakes up in the morning. Trump does a lousy job when he uh, um, um, uh, agrees with Democrats. There's nothing that Trump can do that will ever please uh, the Democrats or anybody in the media. Hello, Highlander Stacker. Thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate you. All right, very good. I know Barbara Carbone hates hates Trump. He hates she hates him. So does so does Donald in New Mexico. I mean, the thing is, is and here's the thing. I as far as politics, um, you know, are concerned with uh, the Democratic presidents that have served including Obama, which I probably disliked the least. I actually kind of liked Bill Clinton, uh, but I never hated Obama. Never hated Obama. Um, I disliked many of his policies, but there's something enduring about Obama. I liked, I liked uh, he was a wonderful role model as a father, um, and there was some, some things about Obama that I liked, but uh, obviously a lot of his... Um, a lot of his views and a lot of his ideology I disagree with, but I never hated him. And and I can also understand some of the personality traits that about Trump that are that can turn people off. I and turns me off too. But the thing is is that they've taken it to an extreme level to the point where there's they give the man no credit for anything. And that's just it's sad, but anyways, oh well, it is what it is. But that's a that's a that's a sort of an aside note. Uh, the markets have reacted positively to Trump's announcement today um, on the um, on the emergency declaration and the money's being uh, uh, put out. So you know, it's just uh, it's uh, we'll see what happens Monday. It'll be very interesting market watch on Sunday night. But anyways, Silver Stangers here. Good to see you. All right, very good. Yes, indeed. J.J. Stoltz, I agree with you, indeed. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Very good. Kalonic Stacker says, Trump could have uh, brought out Metallica to play Creeping Death to open up his corona cornhole virus news conference. Yeah, that's right. He should have. That would have been cool. Creeping Death. That would have been awesome. Rocky Superstars here. All right. Very good. Nice. Okay. Okay. Moving ahead, bullish on bullions. I love the gold version of the double dragon. Definitely going to keep my eye open for this one when I'm in the market for a gold coin in the future. Great pickup, Salvate. Yeah, and I bought it. I bought this coin because I'm a collector. You know, I love, and 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 I'm trying to move more towards gold collector coins and some of the silver ones. Although there's some silver coins I still get as collections, but also kind of preserve the wells. But all right, very good. It's the China Wuhan Mexican beer flu. There you go, silver uh, Wolverine. That's what it is. And by the way. Guys, um, you know, I had a little bit of a political discussion there, but I appreciate all points of view. Donald in New Mexico and Barbara, I love those guys. They're they're great uh, people, great supporters of the channel, and uh, and 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 so 
I know that my comments may offend them and or what have you, but I appreciate them putting up with me or anybody who's a who's a Democrat or who's who hates Trump or what have you or just doesn't like him or whatever. Thanks for um for being here. You know, I appreciate all points of view and encourage uh, dissenting opinions and the like. You know, I think that's part of what makes. Uh, makes it great. Very, anyway, very good. Yeah, a lot of schools closing down for sure, Donald. Very good. Uh, Silver Turtle. Uh, yes, let's see here. Yeah, yep, I know exactly. Silver Turtle, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. But good to see you, Silver Turtle. Appreciate you being here. Mark B says, wow, Sal, this coin looks really good. Perth is top notch. I have three of the 2019 Silver Double Dragons. Nice. I do wonder if they will make the 2020 version. That'd be cool if they did. All right, platinum, not palladium, too poor. Oh yes, no, I know what you mean, John P. Actually, I I, I ordered a uh, a platinum eagle just on the dip yesterday. Wish I would have bought today. But yeah, indeed, crazy. It's hard to really time some of these buys though, because you never know. The market takes a dip, and when is it going to snap back? Because the metal prices have uh, have started to snap back a little bit after uh, the market reacted to the. Um, press conference here beautiful coin says don l thank you sir appreciate that all right that's what reasonable people do sal open lines of communication that's right yeah yeah that's exactly right very true yep i agree with you older man very true uh oh man uh, donald in new mexico says they closed the churches in the santa fe diocese so, man wow that's something else you know and i've uh, my church got canceled this weekend. Okay, Silver Heist says no Boston St. Patrick's Day parade. It's been canceled. All schools are closed. We only have 12 cases. Yeah, crazy. I know, Silver Wolverine. By the way, speaking of Silver Heist, I'm glad you're here, Silver Heist, because we announced um, um, Spectacular's uh, premiere video coming at 8 o'clock p.m., and Silver Heist has one coming, too. Can you remind me what that video is about? It's about a gold version of a silver coin, right? Uh, people, not people. I think it's from the Royal Canadian Mint. Is it a goose, right? It's the goose. And what time is that coming on? Subscribe to Silver Heist, a great channel. He welcomes all returning guests and subscribers. Uh, that's what Silver Heist does because that's just who he is. You know what I mean? That's just who he is. That's he's a guy that welcomes you people. You know what I mean? All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, tricky guy says, beware French kissing, colonic stacker. All right. Very good. No French kissing on the live stream here. We want to preserve everybody's health. The LDS has closed three churches, says Rocky. Okay. Very good. All right. All right. Wow. Uh, Mary Monarch Festival, largest hula contest in the world was canceled. Wow. Man. Gold unboxing, gold goose. Uh, the Royal Canadian Mint, 9 p.m. Eastern, Friday the 13th. Spooky, spooky. Stay tuned for the Silver Heist channel at 9 p.m. Eastern time. 8 p.m. for Spectacular. And 9 p.m. for the Heist. You want a Spectacular Heist? Subscribe to both those channels. Do it now. All right. Yes, indeed. Silversmith, yeah, we saw that. We commented and laughed. Isolated with Rita Wilson. Oh, man, the irony in that. Exactly. Wilson! The Keeney woman says, Oh, Sal, even though I'm so happy for you, I'm feeling a little pangs of jealousy. I love dragon coins, and most especially the Perth Mint dragons. I have a few in silver and one in gold, but that one you have is so beautiful, I will be tempted to buy it if I find that offer here in Canada. Well, thank you, my friend. Yeah, it's a... I, I saw it, and I was like, man, I love that coin. I uh, tried to save up for it as best I could and was able to pull the trigger. That was before all this stuff happened and well, didn't get a chance to post a video. But thank you, Dakini Woman. I hope you can get one. I really do. I'm rooting for you. B. Demon says that's a nice coin. Thank you so much. Steven says, very nice, Sal, but you need to use a bigger knife for your boxing. You know what? Steven sent me a really cool knife, Stephen Heath did, which we haven't seen him here in a live stream in a while. Uh, but unfortunately, it's so shiny and bright, my reflection pops in it so much. All right? Silver Drill Pickles here with Benjamin while listening. Just went to the LCS. Congratulations, Silver Drill Pickle. And hello to Benjamin. All right, very good. Mm. All right, guys, breaking news. Like I said, news changes daily. Uh, the CDC um, and the British Institutes of Health have contracted with Cyber Curtain Twitcher to work on a corona testing slide. 
It shall be available in the UK from the Cyber Curtain Twitcher channel and here in the United States from Mr. Vegeta. If you want a corona testing slide, you want to stay tuned because Cyber Curtain Twitcher is on it and uh, he will have it available. Oh, yes, indeed. All right. Very good. All right. Silver Drill Pickle. All right. Yes, indeed. Benjamin is becoming a collector and being more knowledgeable on the precious metals, which is awesome. Very, very cool. All right. All right. One of the best bullion dealers in this situation right now is actually Atmex. Yeah, I guess because availability is there, but even they are feeling the crunch um, with orders. They're having all these bullion dealers are having messages to pop it up uh, on their site. Uh, site saying, them, stay tuned for delays. Silver Junkie says, I give up. Stocks go down and so does silver. Stocks go up and silver bombs again. Still okay with my tube of maples because dealers are sold out and other premiums are ridiculous right now. Yeah, premiums are rising and uh for sure and it is something else to behold and uh, we'll see it's it, it's a uh, there's reasons for it but uh yeah we'll have to hopefully have that discussion sometime and uh but anyways all right let's see here okay let's get back here to these comments got 76 watching now rodney uh whitrock says Sal, that is one beautiful coin. I can only afford silver dragons, but still fun to collect. Just bought 60 ounces and silver rounds at $15.95. Congratulations. Not complaining at all. Keep stacking, everybody. Good luck out there. That's right. People are taking advantage of the dips. As long as they are doing it out of opportunity to lower their call, uh, dollar cost average. Yes, indeed. That's wonderful. That's great. All right. Uh, Pamela Rice is here. Good to see you, Pamela. High Desert Pioneer is here waving. Hello, High Desert Pioneer. Welcome. Uh, coronavirus is dying soon. When, when, and when. Yeah, we'll, we shall see. Hopefully it will. All right. Let's see here. Okay. Gold is 1533 at this very moment. Yes, that was three hours ago, and it's actually right around that price right now, Silver Wolverine. Uh, let's hack Sal into a bloody pile of goo bits and says Alan Gold. Man, Alan Gold. Man, meanie, meanie, meanie. <sighs> Stacking Nerd says, such a beautiful coin. Congratulations on another edition of your stack. I really enjoy my silver versions of the series. Yeah, kind of wouldn't mind having a silver version too. Thanks, Stacking Nerd. If they came out with one in 2020, I just might get it. All right, very good. Oh, this and an aggressor says, Now I know not to get that one. I like to get coins that no one has reviewed. All right, there you go. Okay, all right. Well, hope we can find one. Very good. Spectacular says, I blend cow toots that cause global warming of our flat earth, which paved the way for coronavirus. And I bet Trump had a hand in it. He has a hand in it. Yes, I think you're right. All is one now is here. My son's school in Maine is just implementing remote learning until March 31st. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm sure he is thrilled. Yes, indeed. Thanks, all in one now. Uh, coin might change my mind. It's beautiful. Thanks. Hi, Steve. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I thought this was just a very well one, well done coin. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Keith Sherwood, precious metal on sell. Slurp on at these prices. Yes, indeed. The price is to celebrate if you're a buyer. Silver Turtle 65, that's a beautiful coin, Sal. It's great to collect what you like because prices are getting smashed again. Yes, indeed. I wish I would have bought. Um, actually, I think the price I paid for this was right around where spot prices are today. Maybe a little less, but not much less. All right. Very good. Roy uh, Owen Huxland, I called my L local coin guy a week or two ago. I bought a quarter ounce of gold for 439 when spot was near 1650. Called him today with spot at 1530 and he gave me same price over the phone. Wow, that's crazy. But you know what, Roy? Sometimes some of these LCSs, they have to sell it based off of the price that they acquired at. So if he bought it high in order to make his margins, he probably does that. Uh, very good. Right, thank you, or Organotics. Uh, your streams are very good. Happy I didn't miss one. Well, thank you for being here. I really appreciate that very much. Silver Wolverine says a lot of pro sports players are stepping up and paying the hourly workers at the stadiums and arenas who are out of work. That is cool. That is a way to do it, not the government. That's true. I agree. 
Um, use private enterprise as much as possible. You know what I mean? That's exactly right. I agree with that. Churches and, and um, you know, other organizations that can afford to do so. And they are doing it. Namer Man says, Sal, this is off topic, but do you have any info on cryptos? Well, apparently, Bitcoin was down a lot. $4,000 what I'm hearing, somewhere around the 4,000s. I think all cryptos have gotten slammed by this stuff. Great looking gold coin, my friend, says a CCT. Thank you. We're getting almost out of these videos coming into the next phase here. We're getting, we're getting up here. The songs, SJJ, they said I would never see $15 silver again, and here it is. Two bad premiums are going up. Yes, I know. And they're going up because of that shortage. For sure, it's crazy. And some people are just stopping selling certain coins out there. Ricardo Ubo, without prejudice, but silver is just getting killed. 1450 an ounce. Once again, the cartel did a wash and rinse again. People who are involved in silver never learn. Well, one thing I learned is, is that there's no real cartel. I don't believe in this mass manipulation that's out there. Um, as people think it is. But anyways, but that's just me. But that's a whole other thing. Yeah, the real March Madness is really what's going to try to live, live, love, and get ready. We are experiencing the real March Madness. Very good. Uh, Mahir, 1310. Looks great. I have a, uh, an ounce uh, 2016 kangaroo view, which I love. So I can imagine this would feel even great in hand. Is it just me or does American Eagles and Buffaloes need to do much better? Currently, their BU versions look very bland compared to the Aussies or even the Canadian Maples. Yeah, I agree. I think there's room for improvement. Uh, the, one of the things the Mint uh, has a problem with, with their silver and gold American Eagles, many of them are struck off center a little bit. And you look at them, and it's just there should be no excuse for that. But they, a lot of them come off center. I don't understand it. Uh, very rarely do you see that with the Royal Canadian Mint. And never do you see it with the uh, Perth Mint. All right, very good. Kim Blanchard is right. Great time to buy junk at sub spot. Yes, but if you can find them for a sub spot, yeah. All right, very good. Let's move ahead up here. Gary Coover, sell your secret safe with me. I won't tell anybody. Well, thank you. Radium price is exploding. It's starting to pull back some now. People are saying I should have sold. I should have sold. I know, but I like to hold on to it. You know, I don't know. I don't have that much faith in the markets. JRW3 really, really likes the coin too. Thank you, JRW3. Appreciate that. J Bar says, oh man, silver's taking a big poopy. Sure did today. Eric, did you hear in Trump's speech that they will suspend interest federal student loans until further notice? No, I did not hear that. That's great news, though. Wow. Very good news. All right. I want to roll of ASCs after your video. Cool, Mark B. Awesome. Congratulations. Hope you got a good deal on them. Where'd you get them from, Mark B? And did you have to pay taxes on them? John Anderson, there are still sites to sell a spot. It's a one time only, but you can still get a spot no premiums. Yes, I tried. I think Jan Bullion has them. Several places do have the spot deals. I've never taken advantage of them, actually. I probably should have today. All right, we're buffering. Anybody else notice buffering or no? Or is that just you just playing a joke on me? I'm not seeing buffering here. Let's <clears throat> see here. Andreas Bronco, let's uh, let's just do what Chris himself says too. Listen to all and follow none. Yes, indeed, that's an older video. El Porno, sweet Sal looks nicer in gold. Yes, thank you, sir. Appreciate that, El Porno. Appreciate you. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. Pamela Rice just bought some first majestic silver. Nice. All right, very good. Good opportunity to buy there. Jimmy, with a gold silver ratio at over 104 to 1 at this historic high, I believe silver is extremely undervalued. I think it's undervalued too. Um, I think it's undervalued, but I don't know that it will necessarily go back to the norms that we uh, were used to before. But yeah. Abex paid 394. Very cool. All right. Awesome. Paid just a little bit more than I did, but that's great. All right. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> Frickendale, BI opportunities. Thanks for the video, Sal. Very, very good. Thank you, sir. Yes, indeed, opportunities. And here's the video from today. First, Chris was very cool. Coin Sal on um, the other one. Video, thanks 
so much for Kandal, for Kandel, for Kandel. Tricky guy, 1.5 trillion added to fiat yesterday to give the illusion of liquidity to markets. I meant to mention that in today's videos, but I just slipped my mind. But they can't keep that bubble enlarging much longer. When does a bubble pop, Sal? Yes, indeed. That's the question. I think with all the spending and everything like that, they feel pretty confident they can do it. Um, and if the markets don't recover and uh, and we're, we uh, languish with this for a while, um, then the bubble will pop sooner than later. Don't know when it will happen, though. But that $1.5 trillion added, that's another round of... Um, uh, the repo, repurchase agreements. Just last night, in one night, that was what was added. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, 500 billion per day. That's right. That was 500 billion was added right last night. That's right, tricky guy. It's crazy. <clears throat> OBX Silver is here. Hello, OBX Silver. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Dale Val says, legally, U.S. Mint has an agreement to supply eagles to the public. Seems we're out. What a crock. Um... Yeah, it's just a shortage of supply right now, but they're working as fast as they can, apparently, to, to replenish it. We'll find out. Yeah, there you go. Donald, New Mexico. Yeah, if there's a stock to, to, to invest in right now, it'll be Charmin. Charmin TP stocks. Rocket. That's right. I'd be very curious to see what Charmin's and these toilet paper companies' uh, uh, stocks are right now. It's crazy. Good point, Donald. Chris says, um, here's what I learned over the last two weeks. When the stock market goes down, silver goes down. The stock market goes up, silver goes down. The end. Yes, unusual times indeed. But this too shall pass. Calvin Cooper, well, I ordered five more American Silver Eagles today. Congratulations. He's been adding them pretty consistently, which is great. All right. And the rhodium bubble popped. Yes, probably did. All right, very good. I just want my baby. There we go. Silver is an industrial metal. Yes, indeed. All right. It is that too, but I also feel it's a still a precious metal and they and will return to being seen as a hedge, especially after uh, today's news, if it continues as they're predicting here. Alex, Al, uh, JP Morgan bought a massive amount from the mint. Also, this proves the mint that silver is a primary industrial metal. Is first and foremost money. It also acts as a commodity. Yeah, well, I tend to agree with that, but I, I do think the markets are saying it the exact opposite way. But Alex, I don't know. I would love to find the uh, the data uh, that supports that, uh, that the JP Morgan bought just bought a massive amount from the men. I'd love to see that. If you can email me that link to that, that'd be great. Let's see here. Winning Image Photography is here. Silver Stealer is here. 11 p.m. last night, he ordered two more rolls of American Silver Eagles. Congratulations. Wow, from SD Bling, got a confirmation last night. No shipping info yet, which comes to the next day. 756 bucks. Spot was 1542 at the time. Wow, congratulations. Awesome deal, Silver Stealer. Way to go. The Federal Reserve, the U.S. dollar lost 98% of its purchasing power. The system is unsustainable, will collapse. Yeah, I tell you what. It's crazy how much it's lost. However, we said that in 2013, in 2014, and look, we're still going. I think it's a little more resilient than even most of us would think it should be. It's crazy. All right. Uh, the Bamba Lacusa by La Bacaladas. My silver costs still $55 no matter what the actual price. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Don't know how to interpret or respond to that, really. Mike Smith, I'm in Canada. We don't have any shortage of eagles. There are 185 in stock today. Wow, congratulations. Very cool. Yeah, it just depends on where you are. Um, some dealers have them, but with this big spice, a lot of deal big spike, a lot of dealers are selling out of them. Like every weekend, I will hope that Apple or Tesla in some country will buy a billion ounces over the weekend and silver will be at all-time high Sunday night. Well, we'll find out. We shall see. That could happen. People buy it for industrial reasons. We'll find out. Ah, we slurp on. We slurp on. Amex still available. Yeah, most of the places are still available. 
they're just going to sell a premium until they sell it. There. It's just the U.S. Mint that's sold out. The Young B Stacker is here. Hello. Good to see you. John, Big John Livesay is here. Good to see you. John Anderson, got to get me a steamer trunk. Head to a mint and fill it up. Bye, bye, bye. Here we go. Maybe he needs a new bullion dealer. All right. Yes, indeed. Maybe so. Yeah, I think so, Rocky. And when he got a emoji of a blue Honda. Yeah. By the way, if people um, if people sign up for the membership for the uh, for the cabinet level position, I'll do a custom emoji for you. But it's a little bit pricey. Yes, indeed. Paper's paper, worth nothing. Buy physical gold and silver. All right. A reoccurring theme. It's exactly right. Uh, Montague Bacassi. Bacassi. Call my LCS to ask the uh, price. He said $20. He said he called everywhere. He can't get any except that he has. Got online. Five random date. Not first. 2020 AE. Good deal. Free ship. It's time to buy. Just my opinion. Good luck, Sal, in the community. Stay safe. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir, for your experience sharing it here. Very good. All right. Trump also said today that crude oil is an amazing low. He ordered the purchase of a lot to refill the National Strategic Oil Reserve. Smart move. Wow. Very good. Thanks, Eric. I did not know that. I missed that. That's cool. All right. Yeah, all is one. It's not able to sign up from... Uh, if anybody else is on an iPad or a mobile device, can you see if the ability to sign up to join is there? He can't get on through that method. He, uh, and maybe they don't allow, but he says he can do it from others, but he can't do it from mine. I don't know why that is the case. It's crazy. All right, let's see here. Rocky Mountain Bear. Uh, I need some more 2020s for some projects going on. Okay. Hope you can get them. Very good. All right, guys. Let's see. Let's take a look. Let's see. This is where the price is closed at today. And just FYI, they actually recaptured some of their losses. Gold is at fifteen thirty ninety is what it closed at. Silver is at fourteen dollars and seventy nine cents. Um, it was down to uh, fifteen hundred or fourteen fifty at somewhere around there. Platinum is actually up a dollar, but it was down a little bit. Palladium uh, down forty five dollars and rhodium is down eight hundred bucks. It was one trading for thirteen thousand. So all the metals have been hurt. Crazy. Stacking nerd looks like today is a huge day for the bullion companies. JM Bullion upper uh, free shipping to two ninety nine and premiums are insane. Yes, indeed, I did see that. It's crazy. Yes, indeed. It's a sal hoax. It's a hoax. These precious metal prices are me. It's a hoax that I've got. Uh, YouTube app on Android. The join button is, is available. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Carlos Danger says, 105 gold to silver ratio. Seriously, go find 90% constitute silver online with 10% of the current spot price. Good luck. Glad to see the big silver vendors aren't playing the paper swap trading game. We need... An OPEC of silver. All right. It's indeed exactly crazy. All right. As I slurp a little of this coffee, a little more of this coffee here. Yogi Girl, thankful I bought early this morning. Yes, congratulations. Gertrude, coincidentally, the Royal Men is selling out of 2020 Silver Britannias. Wow. So it's not just Eagles. We've got other places selling out too. Very good. Jeff Coney, by knocking the prices down, more people are buying silver. Another drop in the storm. Yes. <clears throat> and the cycle will continue because once these pr premiums drop, um, then what's going to happen is uh, people will buy, and then when they go up, people will sell and flood the market with silver. That's the way it usually works, you know. Prices, if prices get up to $18, $19 an ounce again, you can see some of these same people selling off, and that's going to keep the prices probably uh, um, subdued, is my guess. Palladium is down a thousand dollars. Crazy, I know it's insane. Actually, at the recording of this, it's eight hundred dollars or forty-five dollars, but it's down a thousand dollars probably from prior highs. 
Tomoko's Enterprise, if this BS keeps up, Dirt will have more value than PMs. These folks that keep preying on PMs' reactions to C-19 ought to be run out of town. I know, it's crazy. There's a lot of um, craziness over this. I dropped the ball. I dropped the buck and the ball. I'm not holding a ball. I'm, uh, but here's... I'm. Oh, oops. I just dropped a silver coin. All right, very good. Hello, Montague. Good to see you. Welcome to the chat here. Mm. All right, moving ahead. We've got uh, Jane Blaine announced it requiring a $299 minimum purchase. Yes, I did get that email today. It's crazy. Jenny is here. Hello, Jenny Hansen. Welcome. All right, another Sal's gal here with us. Very good. We're missing Pudenda. We haven't seen Pudenda in a while. Justin Hickey, love the videos of the committee. Been watching for about four months. Thought I missed the boat with Silverhead 18. But my first 10 ounces of the day, thanks again for the videos. Nice, you're coming in at a great time to hit the market. It's a good time for the uh, for new stackers, for sure, to buy. Silver, 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 wait. It has gone down again. All right, it's gone down. All right, very good. Wayne Stewart. I know Jay and Boyan just sent an alert saying they will not do free shipping or take any orders in under two ninety nine. Another one SD just sent a message saying they are closing today. This is Friday afternoon and they're closed for the whole online thing. They said they're gonna be working all weekend, packing stuff, and they'll reopen online business on Monday. So it's crazy. It's a buying frenzy to tell you. Yes, it sure is. This is a common thing. All these dealers. In fact, I've got uh, some feelers out to a few bullion dealers waiting to hear back. Um, and I hope we can do an interview with one soon. We'll see. And next site has a three-day delay on shipments on gold. Wow. Crazy, crazy. Crazy times. Uh, Sling and Silver bought 20 Silver Eagles today. Nice. I did too. Very cool. Native. I ordered from an online dealer today. Then I went to do some shopping and stopped by the LCS, had a line out the door. I went back home and all the online dealers are selling out and not taking orders or saying it will take time to process orders. I'm calling this the silver pandemic. See on the stream. All right. Wow. Well, the silver pandemic, it very well may be. We shall see. All right. Yeah, BGASC. Uh, apparently, there's. I heard they might be going out of business soon or they stopped selling. A thousand dollars. What would you buy today? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm almost tempted that I would buy silver, but I, I'm still a part of me. Um, part of me, I would still. I don't know. I probably might still put it towards gold, but I don't know. Because I just bought a tube of eagles. I almost feel like I have enough silver, but it, it is an opportunity for sure. So. I might lean towards gold, though. If I had to pick two, it'd be gold. Donald, New Mexico. Yes, the 299 max is delayed three days. The virus has kicked the world's butt. There will be a recession. Businesses are closed. I'll say this. We are coming down the wire for the presidential election. This is the perfect storm for chaos. Welcome to the 2020 recession. You know, it could be. You might be onto something. It, it very well could be. I'm hoping that you're wrong. Um... I think that, uh, you know, with the way things are, people don't want to be in this situation. People want to go places. People want to uh, want the markets to go up. People want to be able to make money again and uh, all that stuff. So I'm hoping the market will be more resilient. This is an unusual uh, situation, uncharted territory. And we'll see. We'll see. Refrigeration mechanic. Where did you buy that tube from? Uh, actually, I got it from Provident Metals. Uh, um because they took uh, the ACH. I don't know that uh, SD Bullion has that option. Um, and they were too expensive at Atmex, so I got it from Provident. I haven't bought from Provident in a while, so. But yeah. No one can have too much silver, says Hawaii Silver. No, I know, I hear you, I hear you. I, but, you know, it's just a matter of, um, uh, for me, it's a matter of storage and space and, and the like. And I'm trying to narrow my ratio. But you're right. You know what I'm saying? It's a... Uh... Okay. Dutch Biggums. Bought more. Kept telling me it's... Keep telling me it's crap. All right. There we go. 
Silver's never crap. Plus, playing my bass guitar, says Mark B. All right, very good. Amex still up running like normal. It's not crashing like other sites. Yes. Very good. Yes. Well, they are the largest bullion dealer out there, so exactly right. I'm holding, not buying, or selling. All right, there you go. And sometimes that's the best move you can make. Just hold on to it. You don't lose. This is a hoard. This would be the worst time to sell your silver, by the way, folks. I know some people are giving that advice, but that is about the worst advice you can give to somebody. Unless you truly hate silver. And uh, But the last thing you should do is sell it, unless obviously you have to. But uh, yeah, because it will, it, will, it will rebound. Lady Libra Stacker is waiting for the premiums to drop with this uh, drop in spot price. Bought a two from Modern Coin Mart through eBay yesterday of the 2020s and want to buy another. <laughs> but the price should be lower. As for COVID-19, until we hear actual people we know dying, this too shall pass. It looks like the Y2K, H1N1, and SARS and the like. If buying is this panic for the COVID-19 for precious metals, toilet paper, wipes, Perel, and chicken... To name a few, can you imagine what it'll be like if a real future, much more serious pandemic hits? That's right. Honestly, I think most people are overreacting. I agree. But in response to your video, this is buying opportunity, like you said. The takeaway, the market rebounded a bit too soon as Trump opened his mouth. Just waiting for gold and silver to follow. We shall see. In the meantime, don't forget to wash your hands. That's right. Well said, Lady Liberty Stacker. Well said. All right, very good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, thank you, Silver Turtle and Mark B. Appreciate you. And Jenny, thank you very much for the blessings. It's the only way I can get people to bless me is to sneeze these days. And I'm saying, will Silver cure COVID-19? I don't think it will. Virus is a bit more difficult. Silver is mostly an anti-micro uh, antimicrobial. I know. <laughs> Coming down with the beer flu. I know exactly. Time will tell. Sal may want to time to tie me out due to my DT opinions. No way, Barbara. I say what you want about Trump. It's okay. Uh, all I have to do is I, my strategy is to slurp just enough so that by the time November third comes around, you will vote for Trump. Just for me, yes, indeed. All right. Then you can say whatever you want about him because then he got your vote from Long Island. You know what I mean? You come up there, go on a date with you, get you drunk the night, the day of the election, early in the morning, drive you to the polls. Yes, indeed. Oh, I know, Silver Wolverine, exactly. The swine flu, but when it was all said and done, H1N1 killed 17,000 Americans. Media didn't say anything about it. Crazy. Silver Heist says it's hard to find product in stock, and ASE premiums are $45. Crazy times. Yeah, when, 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 he, when you look at... Uh, that's about what my premiums was by the time you had a tax to mine. Crazy. Hard Asset Stacker. I just raided my local pawn shop of their 2020 first strikes from Amex. Happily paid well over spot. All right. Yes. Hopefully you still got a good deal on them. Very good. Thank you. Monument sold out of pretty much of everything. Yeah, I know. Monument. That's the first place I checked because they don't charge sales tax yet. Could not buy them there. It's crazy. All right. Where are we? At? Oh, okay. Roy Owen Huxland was Sloth Leadfoot. Okay, very cool. All right. Made this one. Thank you so much. Roy, appreciate you. The English Silversmith says, I can't get new coins anywhere near spot price in England as we have a 20% tax. Yes, I know. That VAT is horrible there. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Let's see here. Rocky Superstar says, Sal, I feel you are right. The banks have been selling a lot to keep them solvent. Silver will go back up. What I don't like is the premiums that SD Bullion and JM Bullion are charging. Near $4 an ounce. Bullion companies are trying to keep them from losing money. So I'm watching out buying. Well, I'm hoping we can address that if we talk to one of these bullion companies. If they will answer my query, we shall see. But let us pause for a moment because we're going to get an idea on these markets from, uh, we did, Rami actually called me. He was actually a pretty cool guy, but there's a Jay who has been very, uh, who has not been answering his phone. He said there's a 99 chance, set 99 percent chance he would answer the phone. So we have a pretty good chance here that he'll answer. So we're gonna call uh, Jay and see uh, here what is the deal with the markets. 
The number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. Son of a... That's the number he gave me, that scammer. Uh, I think I have this number written down somewhere else here. We've got Luke. I'm trying to call Luke again, but... I just can't believe that he would do this to me. Where was my other J? Joe from Quick Funding. David. Max. Let me make sure I type this in right. Let me do this. Oh, we have another guy. Lawrence. The number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. Boy, that really ticks me off. He gave me the wrong number. He gave me a bad number, that scammer. Where is this? I gotta find Max or this J guy. Where is he? Let's try to call Lawrence. Lawrence said he'd be here. Okay, here we go. All right. Very good. Ah, Lawrence. Come on, Lawrence. <laughs> Is it Lawrence Welk? I don't know. We'll find out. How many dead cat bounces per crash have you ever seen? I don't know. Man. That's a good question, Tricky. I haven't really been paying attention to the markets as much to know exactly how many good deals out there constitute civil. Would you recommend them? Yeah, um, look for them. Oops. This is Lawrence. Anthony Lawrence. Leave me a message. I'll call you back. All right. We'll try to call Lawrence again. Um... But uh, I'm not sure. Um, just to shop around, check out the deals. I usually buy my constitutional silver from the LCS. Yes, indeed. Good night, dinner time. So for Silver Drill Pickle, have a good night, my friend. Have a good night. Vogus is here. Hello, Vogus. Welcome. Let's get back in here some of these comments. We'll try it again. PM Guy says, remember the $1.5 trillion stimulus. Do you think they will use any of this that to artificially inflate the gold and silver price? I think not. Stocks have been artificially inflated again. PMs are left to fend for themselves. Let's see what happens uh, when the stimulus package runs out. Yes, indeed. I think that's a good point. They will fend for themselves, which means that, uh, you know, the Fed will, will manipulate to the point of just adding some... Um, uh... Oh, here he is. Here he is. Okay. J... Have some pseudo calm in the markets. Where are we at? Here we go. Okay. Yeah, Jay, all fundy, all fundy. Yep, that's the right number. Let me try to call it here. I'm going to try to call from my other phone. Just a second, guys. It could be that, um, it very well could be that uh, this is just one of those things that. Doesn't work on one phone, but does on the other. Yeah, it's working here. It works here. Harvey Green, what is that scammer? You got to give me... Hello, Jay. Jay, I tried to call you from the other line, but it uh, it says this number is there. It says this number is not in service. I don't understand it, uh, but this is the number. Yeah, um, yeah this is my number. So this is my personal number. So yeah, yeah but anytime. yeah, but when I tried to call from here, uh, let me just show you what it says here. I'm gonna try to call from this other phone. Let's see what. Let's see. This is what it says. Listen to this. It's coming. It's almost here. Just a second. Listen. The number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. That's your number. Isn't that weird? Yes, that is weird. Um, I'm at my uh, 
IT guy checked that out because uh, that's the first time that that ever happened. Yeah, get your IT on it. Well, here's what we want to do. We're going to take advantage of these markets. Um, you know what's happened with the markets today, right? They went insane in the right. membrane, right? Right. Can I get an amen on that? Amen. Amen. All right, very good. That means since prices are low, uh, I don't want to necessarily back up the truck, but I want to make some opportunity buys. I'm going to use your agency to get a loan to opportunity to buy some silver in order to use it for this earwax uh, solution that I've got. Um, okay. What it is is a special solution that has earwax and hydrochloric, I mean, silver and hydrochloric acid that will clean out earwax from people's ears. Okay. Yeah. So um, we will need some money for that. Uh, and because uh, silver is low right now, so I'm going to take advantage of these prices. Not a problem. Yes, we can help you with that. Um, this is. Uh, You're cutting out on me there, uh, Jay. Okay, can can you hear me now? A little bit, but it's. Now, I. Okay, now I, right, I'm showing you here a different number. Let me see here what number is it that I can show here. Uh, One hundred five. That's the uh, um. But this is this is Roger, right? Yeah, Roger, Roger. But I'm calling. I'm actually his his friend. My name is Lawrence Welk, um, and I'm Roger's friend. But I was trying to call you from my line, and um, and but and that's where it got messed up. So I I called in Roger here. So we're calling from the other phone here. So but uh, yes, this is on behalf of Roger. But I'm the decision maker. I'm the decider. My name is Lawrence Welk, and we need to get back to the earwax situation here. Um, so what we have to do is we need to get the uh the silver earwax cleaning kit thing going on and it's a mixture so don't give away my secret because there's a special formula with the hydrochloric acid and the silver ions that are going to just clean out that earwax and we need to get buy a bunch of silver for this thing you know what i mean so we need a loan for that okay not a problem we, uh, we can help like i said I, I'm, I'm all ears you're all ears i like that you got a sense of humor too that's great you're all ears i love it Okay, so now, okay, so how much working capital is it that you're going to be needing? Because I got here at 150 k right? Uh, it's going to be a little bit more than that. We really need to take advantage of this dip. So we're going to need a little bit more than okay. 150 k We're going to probably need about 275 k Is there a way we can okay. make that happen? Okay, that is not a problem here. That is not a problem at all. There's a lot of liquidity in the market. I still can't hear you, and it's not because I have earwax in my ears. It's like it's about just like you're talking like this, and it cuts off. It's like nope. Is there a way you can make that that you can put your mouth right next to the to the uh, to the microphone sure. of your phone? Sure. Now can you hear me? Yes, that's much better. If you put your mouth right up to the phone, don't worry, you won't get okay, the coronavirus from that. You won't get the. Uh, Lawrence, how, how about if I call you back through my um? Through my dialer. Through your stylus? And, um, I'll call you right to the Yeah, through, through my dialer right now because I'm connected right now on my dialer and I can. I can okay, yeah, yeah. Better, call uh, me from your dialer. That'd be awesome. That'd be cool. All right, yeah, call me back. I'm gonna call I'll call you. Okay, I'm going to call you right now. Okay, right, thank you, thank sir. You. All right, bye bye. All right, we have another message here. Somebody's, another channel got hacked. This is not good. Leanne says uh, Native Stacker's channel was hacked or try to get back on YouTube ASAP. I'm so sorry. Um, Silver uh, Native Stacker. Native Stacker, great guy. His channel got hacked. I'm so sorry, my friend. I hope you can get back, you get your channel back soon. Uh, tell us how it happened, um, Leanne, um, uh, so we can all avoid the mistake. But I hope you get it back soon. Coins A to Z, hello. Good to see you. Uh, all right, we're going to try to get back. Yes, indeed. Let us know how it happened, Leanne. This is not good. Bad phone connection proof he's a Nigerian prince. Yeah, exactly, tricky guy. Exactly. I heart your comment. All right, very good. He's going to call us back. Yes. Sorry about that, Native Stacker. Oh, here we go. He's calling us. Hello? Okay, Lawrence, can you hear me better now? I can hear you much better. Thank you, Jay. Yes, it's like a breath of fresh air. And that on home music was great, too, behind you. That was awesome. Okay, not a problem. 
Okay, so now, okay, you're talking about maybe from 475 that you might be needing for this uh, project that you're working on, right? Yeah, uh, not quite that much. Not 475k, 275k, 275. Exactly, 200. Okay, not a problem. Okay, so now as I'm going with the uh, information that I have from uh, Roger here. I have he's been in business for 20 years. Uh, now he is your partner, right? Uh, the issue of what? He, he is your partner, so that means he is that my partner. But it's a completely bubonic relationship. It's a very, yeah, it's a volatile bubonic relationship. That's it. Wonderful. Okay. Now, the uh, name of the business that I have here is uh, RH Steel Coating and Alchemy, correct? It is, uh, it is Alchemy Ear, alchemyear.com. I'm uh, not dot com, Alchemy Ear um, LLC. We're a limited liability corporations. There's a lot of liquidity in the markets. So the the Fed is pumping in 1.5 trillion. They did 500 billion dollars overnight to repurchase agreements. I'm being advised by one of my board members that's on the chat here to take the 475,000. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and ask for the 475,000 uh, while we're here. There's a lot of money being pumped out. I might as well go ahead and get that before the dollars become even more worthless. So we'll go ahead and go for the 475. I think that'll be fine. Yeah. Jay? Jay? Jay, I we're still connected, Jay, but I hear absolutely nothing through the phone lines right now. It's as if you put me on mute. Is this mutiny? I'll try and call you back, Jay. You know what? Let me see. Let me try to call him from this other line. Let me try to go. Uh, come on, Jay. Let's do it, Jay. Yeah, the guy's a scammer. That's right. And somebody else gave me another number to call, but I, I don't know what that was about. Oh, listen to that. Oh. Hi. Thank you for calling. Please hold while we connect your call. We connect your call? That's right. We've got to connect the call. Ooh. Oh, he's calling me back on this one. But I'm gonna I'm gonna let it ring on that one. I'm gonna get my guitar out now. I hope I'll get a copyright strike on this. I think I'm a little out of tune with this thing, but answer your other phone. He's trying to call me on the phone, but ooh, listen to that. Hi, thank you for calling. Please hold while we connect your call. Ah, I gotta tune up a little bit here. We go. My tuner's battery is about dead. Now I gotta do harmonic tuning. Just a second, guys. to mute this. I'm going to have to mute this for now, but I love that on home music. I Hi, think... thank you for calling. Please hold while we connect your call. Let me turn this down a little bit here. Just a second here.
Hello? Another scammer calling. Can't believe how out of tune I was. There we go. Now we can get the auto home music back on. Listen to this. Let's see here. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm not seeing your chat. Hold on a second here. Hold on, hold on. Don't snap your G-string. That's right. Tricky guy, yes, I've used harmonics a little Hi. bit. Thank you for calling. Because my tuner's battery is about out, calling. but yeah. Here we go. Sunday, National Day of Prayer. Good. All right. Very good. Hi. Thank you for calling. Please hold while we connect your call. All right. That's enough of that. That was fun to play for a while, but I'm sure you guys are sick of it now. But at least my guitar is in tune for the next scammer call. Can't believe Max is not taking my calls. I mean, not Max, but Jay. I try to call Jay back. Come on, Jay. No, we won't mess with Jay anymore. Oh, here we go. Hello? Thank you for staying at Sheraton Hotel. Oh, you this are could receiving be fun. this message because you were selected by our VIP program to receive a complimentary weekend. To accept, press one now to be placed on the do not call. Oh, we want to accept. We want to. You are currently caller number three, waiting to speak with a representative. Thank no. you for your patience. I want to stay at a Marriott Hotel. Ooh. Hi, congratulations. You mean to make this a free vacation pocket? Are you over the age of 50? Can you say that again? Son of a. You're sounding like a foreign language. Crazy. Uh, minus on 30. That's right. We lost 30 viewers on the unhold shenanigans. Sorry about that, guys. We have to have a little fun here. Let's get back to the markets here. We've got um, uh, very informative. Thanks, Uncle Sal. This is on the um, on the Eagles sellout from the Mint, by the way. They're sold out from the Mint because of the lack of production. Brother Sal, very nice. Thank you, sir. Jackie Bear, appreciate it, my friend. I did my part, got some ASEs. Nice. Very good. By the way, this is the last year they will have that design on them. Yes, indeed. What's Copper doing? Copper, uh, Terry, I covered that in today's video, actually. The last one I did is Copper's only down a little bit. 
Uh, not a whole lot. $2.40 a pound, I think. All right. Oh, Chuck Norris, who just turned 80, by the way, recently. He's got his coming. The Celebrate Metal 2-ounce relief high um Two ounce high relief round. Very cool. Thank you, Chuck. Awesome indeed. All right. Joe says I felt like I was at a precious metal wholesale store store. Bought ma massive spot deals and silvers between fifteen and fourteen sixty two last night and early this morning before everything was sold out. Go to the spot dealer here again. Uh, link it to a bit shoot account. All right, very cool. Nice. So the golden spot is there again. Nice, Joe. Very good. All right. Let's see here. Moving up, we've got uh, I.B. Goliath that says, Picked up two quarter American Gold Eagles today at my LCS. 20 over spot. Good day. Coin show Sunday, hopefully. Be you interested to see what the dealers will do. Unify and charge high premiums and risk not selling or look out for their own business interest. It will be interesting to see indeed. Yes. Hopefully that coin show doesn't get canceled. Very good. All right. Happy McDoodle. Oh, is there a Happy McDoodle here? Get a Telegram account. Ooh, not Telegram account. Interesting. Okay. I know people are on that Discord, too. That's pretty fame popular. Ah, very good. Good to see all you guys here, by the way. We've got gold sick Vibicel. Trump was coherent. The market went up. Gold and silver are available in kilos only. Yes. Wow. Yes, happy McDoodle and McDoodles here, all right? Uh, Coins A to Z sold a bunch of pre-1983 cents last year. Nice. Congratulations. Hope you got them for more than a cent. Uh, let's see here. Eddie's little stack. As far as silver falling, they will come at a time when people will throw their coins in the street. But hopefully we are nowhere near that time. Sal... You buy J and Bland this order, you get that their email if silver or gold were to ever go tighter than 71. I don't know if silver will go any tighter. Yeah, I know. I don't think it will either. I don't know if it will as well, but I bought from uh Provident Metals, which is pretty much the same thing. All right. Jack says, uh, I couldn't resist. Bought today, bought one ounce platinum and seven ounces of silver, two coins and a five ounce bar spot price. As part of the promo, metals are basically on clearance right now. There you go. Yes, good opportunity buy for sure. Coins A to Z is only buys 10 kilo gold bars. Nice. All right. Scrapper says we have billions of the darn things in Europe selling for 1843 each. So waiting for a further price fall, they are still expensive. Wow. It's a lot there, but then you have a 20% VAT tax. All right, Van Wood is here. Hello, Van. Appreciate it being here. Think it's valuable to hold and collect copper for the future. Um, if you can find it, uh, pre-83 cents are the best way to stack copper. And really the only way to stack it. Anything else you're paying such huge premiums for, it's going to be almost virtually impossible to, to get it. So to stack copper, do it with pre-83 cents. And by the way, some of the 82 cents were actually... Uh, Copper coated zinc, so you got to make sure it's the right 82 cents. Um, yes, indeed. All right. The 82 cents that weigh mo the more are the ones that go for. Author says, I'm, I see it going lower, really. I know this is crazy looking for 12 or 13 silver. You know what? You might be right. We'll find out. We shall see. Silver Steeler, have a good evening, my friend. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for the like. Yes, indeed. Hello to you and uh, winning image photography. Thank you so much, my friend, for being here. All right. Uh, let's see here. Good to see you. Hello, the Jackie Bear is here. All right. Very good to see Jackie Bear. Welcome, my friend. All right. Dude Cat says, what a gift. Will you please look at these low precious metal prices? Wow. I'm still taking advantage of these prices. I'm surely, yes, indeed. It is a good time to buy. Cannot deny that. Mark B says, I had to buy a roll of ASCs. Just uh, don't resist. Just do it. Yes, I I did resist for a little bit, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger. Yes, indeed. And went ahead and do it. did it. I went ahead and did it. Very good. Uh, do we think silver will go less than 14? I don't know at this point. It's hard to say, Van Wood. It really is. Um um, yes, indeed. Very tough to say. 
right. CCT slide is a way to check copper against zinc. That's right. Very good. All right, very good. All right, let's see here. Time to dream. The silver to toilet paper ratio is off the charts right now. I'm currently trading TP for silver. Any takers? There you go. Oh, man, you might get some takers at this point. All right. Mm. Yes, that's right, Coins A to Z. The, the fresh copper rounds and bars do look very nice in hand. And if you're a collector of those things, there's nothing wrong with buying those for sure. All right, very good. I've got some of that. I've got a copper stack of that kind of stuff too. It's fun. And the good complimentary pieces are in copper too for collections out there. Winning Image Photography. Have a good night, Winning Image Photography. Yes, indeed. Don't forget to sing in the shower next time. All right. WTH completed his silver goal today. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, Donald, New Mexico. The new basketball members will not have a crowd. That's right. They won't. Uh, that's true. They released the designs for those, but every time I post a video about the, those commemorative coins, they get very few views, so I stopped doing uh, videos on those, but they're going to colorize them later in the year. But people aren't really all that excited about the basketball coins I've found. It's crazy. I'm going to get them just to keep my collection up, but yeah, it's nuts. Normer man, good to see you. So be fearful when people are greedy. Being greedy when people are fearful. Fearful says Warren Buffett. That's right. C. Barrett Savage Stacker. I'm so PO'd. All four of my LCS closed their doors today because the price is tanked. I will never give them my business again. I'd rather pay more and shop online. That is crazy. All four of them. Man. Wow. That's crazy that they did that. I should have called my LCS. Van Wood, I submitted a design for it, was rejected. I'm sorry, Van. Tricky guy, the, the coronavirus ground zero has been discovered in Donald in New Mexico's box of dirt. It now visibly festers. It festers. Very good. All right. Glenn D says, a lot of products I've been watching are out of stock today. Did manage to pick up 10 ounces. That's certainly a good deal for real PMs. I can hold and fondle. All right. Very good. All right. U.S. dollar is king, thanks to Trump. Yes. Very good. Thanks, Naamin. Thank you for the comment. And MASMC, gold to silver ratio, keeps making new highs. 104 now. Yes, crazy. Crazy indeed. 104 to 1. And it could go higher. It could go higher. I'm the great corn. Julio, says Klonic Stacker. All right. Self-aware, my local LCS needs gender-specific doors because at some point, your pants will be down to your ankles. Yeah, it's screwed over by the LCS. Yes, I hear you. All right. Okay. Poilo Guavie says, oh, well, it's fine as they can make new eagles out of the complex Comex paper contracts over the last two days, 1.5 billion ounces have been shorted. That's over 1.5 silver annual production. What idiot doesn't understand about silver when it drops in value? If the scapegoats down, they will you sell silver in 2008 recession levels and copper production goes down and other base metals so sell less silver and silver coin demand goes up as cheap. So good luck with the BS around 50% industrial use because 25% comes from scrap, 50% from Copper production and the rest from silver miners. Silver will drop to maybe 11, but then the SHTF and silver industrial users will be stacking up. Yes. Kind of like a cycle, you know? Crazy. A lot of people are buying. I bought 20 ounces of silver today, says Catherine Lee. Awesome. Congratulations. I did too. Perfect storm for chaos. Yes, indeed. I agree, Terry. It seems like we're heading that way, for sure. All right, we just finished the coffee. Now we're going to put some water in this thing. All right. Gerard Moore, I mean, wouldn't this be the time to sell? I'm not surprised at the dip at all. No, this would not be the time to sell. Not 
The last thing you want to do is sell when it's low. Gerard. Silver Banks, I just got 100 ounces of 1460, lowest I've paid in years. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. I wish gold would have moved low uh, this time. When does the fun start? Oh, man, you'll be waiting a little bit longer. No strip tease or anything like that. Van, I lost a crap ton of money uh, from what I had before, but I'm still buying and buying. Very good. All right. Uh, coins A to Z, I'm convinced that the bottom for AG is still around the $14 mark. I am too. I'm, I'd like to think it would be. It's crazy to imagine it would be go much lower than this. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to turn this on. Go over here. All right. Should I put this guitar away? I think I should put this guitar away. I don't want to go here. I have not made Barbara laugh yet. A lot of dry humor here today, sorry. Gonna put the guitar away. Dra day tripper, day tripper. I'm gonna put the guitar away. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it away. Put it away. Put it away, put it away, put it away now. Put it away now. I'm gonna put it away now. I'm gonna put it away, I'm gonna put it, put it, put it away now. Silver to five dollar. Nice to see that nice floor. Oh yeah, that would be something. Lendy, what's the blue wrench? Did you get hacked or something? No, not hacked. Not hacked. That's Lendy. These are faithful uh, uh, peoples that uh, are been around. They're usually common here in the chat. So, Silver Turtle is back. Good to see you. Ophi Matrix, hello. Richard Simpson says, it's ruined a nice looking coin by putting the queen on the back. Actually, technically, that's the front. I know a lot of people feel that way. Joe says, the price tank is my gain. Yes, indeed. Sure is. All right, very good. OBX, have a good night. Be safe and stack on. Thanks, OBX Silver Stacker. Appreciate you being... Silver Surfer, I mean. OBX Silver Surfer. Appreciate you, my friend. Have a good night, indeed. All right, very good. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, do an experiment. Remind me, guys, here... About this experiment I'm going to do here momentarily. Um, let's see here. What do you think of colorized coins? I'm a big, not a big fan of them. Some of them can be done well enough in a slight way, but I'm not generally not a fan of colorized coins. Grow Mechanic bought 20 ounces at 1513. One hour later, it was 14 something and 36 total this week. To Inglehart Bars, 250 over spot, not great, but it was what was left of my LCS. Nice score. Nice score. Glockman just picked up two rolls of American Eagles. Bought it on the dip. Congratulations, sir. Yes, indeed. Silver Wolverine, you said the word coronavirus. Did you get all yellow icon? No. I Believe it or not, the, even when I said it a whole bunch of times, it did not icon me. They did not. Believe it or not. Crazy. Pal KKK, good to see you. All right, Sal, we're not guinea pigs. I thought you were. Bill 457, things are getting crazy. Got an email from Jam Boyan. And they put on a second shift to keep up with the orders, and Atmex can't keep up. It's crazy. This is a sign of people amazing the demand here as of late. Insane in the membrane. Silver Wolverine, I called the $14 price. Now I take a bow. Yes, Silver Wolverine called it. And I, w and I missed it. I missed it. Silverine called it, and I missed it because I thought 17 was a new low. Tricky guy. Are you allowed to choose how many times your video is interrupted by an ad? The video had four of them. That's too many. I skip all ads, uh, so I have to stop listening to find the skip ad box to click it. This is abusive. I'm going to send my multitask and listen to the video in the background. Force them to be handy. Yeah, there's a... There should only be uh, two per 10 minutes. Um, but if it's 20 minutes, so there'd be four. You can place them in a certain place. A lot of times they put it in, uh, uh, put it in. Uh, but yeah, just skip the ads. That's all you got to do is skip. Easy peasy Japanese if you don't like the ads. And, and they don't always play ads. They'll be banner ads. Um, and I always check them. 
on the other side and uh, and um, on another account to see that they're playing. And a lot of times I get banner ads. Usually at the very beginning they play the regular ads, but yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Okay, Chuck Norris 2020 is here. Chuck Norris, by the way, Chuck Norris, appreciate you being here, my friend. He's the one that ordered the, uh, the Salivate Metal round. Thank you so much again, my friend. And Chuck Norris, this is something ironic. Chuck Norris just turned 80. And if Chuck Norris was infected with the coronavirus, he would kick its butt so much that it would create a pandemic of recovery within a 200 and 50 mile radius of where his kick was. All right, there you go. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I may have a colorized coin. I don't. I think I do have a colorized coin that somebody gave me somewhere around here. Tricky guy. Silver Wolverine. Next, fourteen hundred dollar gold. Yes, indeed. All right. I hope you're right, Silver Wolverine. Let's see if you're right on that. Political prisoner. Dow futures are up 1,700 points right now after the market closed, up 1,985 points today. I wonder how this works. All of a sudden, money to pump all this inflated stock pricing right back up to where it shows up out of nowhere. How fake is it all? It's all psychological, man. I'm telling you. All right. CCT likes the ads for the micro thongs. All right. Very good. Okay. Okay. Coldick. Uh, Vivifel, out colorized coins and acetone. So you can get rid of the color and acetone. Very cool. All right. Van Wood wants twelve. Wants to go back to twelve hundred dollars. Me too. Let's see here. Seven minute ad is not an ad. Yeah, I know. There's ads that play that are an hour and fourteen minutes. I've seen ads that play for that too. It's crazy. I think I get credit for it if you watch thirty seconds of it. All right, let's see here. But anyways, let's see here. Stock players sell gold on the way down, and they borrow free pump money on the way up. There you go. Crazy. John Anderson says, uh, FETS by physical silver. I hope it goes back down to $4 an ounce so I can back the truck up. Yeah, can you imagine? I think a lot of people would probably be giving up on silver if it went down that low. All right, let's see here. Silver so Wolverine, as oh, the Dems for sure want the markets to tank. But by November, markets will be all-time highs again. I hope you're right. I hope you're right, indeed. Uh, Chapton Master Videos. By late 2008, silver bottomed to um, 8.5 trillion ounces, over 60% of its value. By mid-2011, reached $50. That's nearly a 600% increase, so don't panic. Keep your silver. Yes, but I will say this, that those anomalies in 2011 and 1980 were just that, anomalies. And we shouldn't hope for those levels again. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see here. Mm, let's see here. Van Wood, and there's some sleazy YouTubers who put those hour-and-a-half-long vids that aren't able to be skipped. Uh, if there's an hour-and-a-half-long video... You can skip those. I don't know of anybody that's ever done that. Um, we can't control what vids show up. Um, some people say they've seen videos from Michael Bloomberg or Bernie Sanders on my channel and others that show, show ads, of, ads of various lengths. You can always skip those. The unskippable ads are the ones that are like 15 seconds or whatever. They never put ads that are that long that you can't skip. Um they they would they, they would <laughs> they would get so much feedback from that that would be in, insane. But anyways, Toker talk. People are paying premium for toilet paper while stackers quietly empty the vaults of metal. Keep stacking. Yes, the premiums are going up on precious metals too. But yes, indeed. Uh, second video row. I said coronavirus. Yeah, I think I can safely say it again. They're not because uh, I I posted a video about that. So Wolverine, I think you missed it, but they stopped. Uh, they stopped uh, penalizing us channels for saying coronavirus. All right, let's see here. The wind minnow would be lost. All right, like Gilligan and Ginger, and I was more of a Marianne kind of girl. I think she was hotter. Coins A to Z gets ads from the U.S. Mint. I have too, actually. 
Three Merc Dimes and two Walking Liberty. Half dollars. Nice, Jimmy. Nice. Shutter Island, says Tricky Guy. Dove Season. I'm going to skip any Bernie ads. Yeah, no worries. I don't blame you, Dove Season. I don't blame you. All right. Five more ordered coal ASCs. Calvin, make more buys. Very good. Buy, buy, buy. It is an opportunity for sure. My LCS has sold out of a bunch of stuff. They said they expect their safe to be empty before the close on Saturday. Wow. I need to call my LCS and see what's going on down there. Very good, Silver Dragons. All right. Thank you, my friend. All right. Mrs. Howe. All right. So Silver Sachs had a big crush on Mrs. Howe. She was pretty hot. She was a hottie, Mrs. Howe, otherwise known as Lovey. Marianne, that's right. I'm all I'm a Marianne guy all the way. Marianne was awesome. All right. Mint State America. Dumped gold and backed up the truck yesterday at 100 to 1. Thought I killed it at 100 and flipping 5 today. I did get a few killer vintage bars and 200 2020 is a wow. Dude, that's quite a buy. Quite a buy. Bob Hill says, I waited till the end of today to use as a buying opportunity. Wasn't planning on it, and technically I uh, can afford it, but still fine for an emergency. It's a pinch, but seems a good long-term investment. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Lacari. Marianne was pretty darn hot, especially when she wore those short shorts. I kid you not. Uh, the hippie guy selling soap. Yes, indeed. Especially looking for ways to not stink like Donnie. That's right, tricky guy. That's right. Silver Honda, like 83. Thank you, Silver Honda. We miss you here on the live stream tonight, but I think you said you had to be away, if I'm not mistaken. Miss State America, I was the only dealer last weekend show with 2020. Just grabbed a couple hundred more. Yes, indeed, you sure did. Congratulations again on that. Serious sudden need to see your cats. Very hard to do at this point. Um, way everything's set up in here. But if you look back, Tricky Guy, there was a video that I posted about uh, fifty dollars silver. Watch that video to the very end. You will see. You will see one of the kitties. All right, you will see one of the kitties indeed. Bob Silver on the 2020 Silver Eagle sellout. Remember me saying a month or two ago, which silver sold 14? Well, I got my wish. I'm okay with 14 silver. Hopefully it stays there for a while. Yes, indeed. All right, there, Bob Silver. You're right. Silver Hollick just came in home from work. Do you mind starting over? Yes, let me reboot this thing here. Going to reboot this whole thing. Let's have a slurp reboot. For Silver Hollick. All right. All right, random year in 2020, a silver American eagles are out of stock at Texas Precious Metal website. Yes, crazy. Eagles are flying off the shelves, folks. And saying the membranes. I don't expect my eagles anytime soon, that's for sure. All right. Flo Higgins, high sale of the coin is so gorgeous. Bravo to our Aussie cousins across the ditch who constantly turn out stunning products. Yes, the Perth Mint is top notch. You will pay a premium for them, but they do a great job. We're going to have a little game here in a moment. So all you guys watching this, we got 56 thumbs up, three thumbs down. It's probably because I was playing guitar to hold on, hold on, hold music. But stay here because I have a little game for you guys, a guessing game. All right? And uh, there's no prizes just for the fun of it. But we're going to do it here momentarily. And uh, yes, indeed. So stay tuned. Here, as soon as we get to some of these comments. Order mine yesterday and then again today. Lucky to catch a few deals. Before the premium is caught up, J.M. Blaine has a minimum order of two ninety nine because of demand and stock now. A lot of others seem to be running out of the cheap stuff. Yes, they sure do. And that just goes to show you that when there's demand for precious metals, when it picks up, it's going to make news. And that's going to make the world of, um, of gold and silver to become a little bit more uh, attractive to buyers. Find the dream. I bought the dip today. Even if the price dips further, premiums will go up to compensate. Yeah, it does seem like that's what's happening, doesn't it? I watch premiums tick up today as the prices went down. Even if the prices go down further, I doubt anyone will be able to find silver to purchase those prices. That's true. Good point. Great video, Sal. But everything will come together into an, uh, to a normalcy again when we get through this. We just have to weather the storm. All right, very good. 
All right, Terry is excited about the game coming up. All right, Eric says, I have a feeling like a putz for buying a tube of ASCs for sixteen eighty eight a spot yesterday. I think I jumped in the right moment, but a lot of true fetish dealers jacked up premiums so much that anyone buying today is a is going to be saved about twenty one dollars off when I paid for spot at two dollars higher. So in essence, spot fails two fifty in twenty four hours. You only save fifty cents a coin. My spreadsheet, which pulls KitGo live spot, calculated GSR at one hundred five point seven. Wow, crazy. Crazy, crazy. All right, yeah, BGASC did stop taking orders and to play catch-up, right? Terry will play soon. C-Rod is here. C-Rod, welcome, my friend. And C-Rod pops in uh, with a $20 super chat, my friend. Thank you so much. Indeed, very kind of you, sir. That essentially almost paid my taxes for the Silver Eagles I bought today. Thank you so much. Very kind of you, sir. Uh, every little bit does help, and you're very kind indeed. In fact, C-Rod, if you'll stick around a moment. Well, we're going to do it. Since C-Rod was so kind to do that, although I hope he will have a little bit of grace and kindness and mercy to show mercy upon me. But C-Rod, you pick the number of push-ups that I do right now. Let me move the chair out of the way so I can get them done. C-Rod is going to pick the number of push-ups. Let's see what he gives me. C-Rod is in the house. He's going to pick the number of push-ups. Let's see what he says here. I'm going to stretch a little bit here. Ah, cheers to you. He's going to make me work for it. How many push-ups do I do? C-Rod is going to give me the number. Come on, C-Rod. See what he does. we got to wait 30 seconds because it takes that time. No mercy. No mercy. Oh, my goodness. I've got to do whatever he tells me. Man, I hope he... 2420 says bogus. Let's see what, let's see what the C-Rod says. Waiting for C Rod's number. Heard him, C Rod says, Terry, no mercy from Terry. No mercy. I mean, real or fake? We're going to try real push ups this time. We try them all the time, is what we try to do. I'm just waiting. Give him 20. All right, here we go. Okay, we got C Rod. 20, 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, gun salute for C-Rod. There we go. All right. We did it. Oh, man. 21. Thank you so much. Got it. Hello, Glenn D. Good to see you. One push-up, one sip of coffee with the slurp around. Do it five times. Yeah, that we got the thing to do. All right, that would be a good challenge, but we'll do that for something else. Oh, boy, okay. He's not going to make it. I know, I didn't feel like I was going to be. All right, C-Rod is already done already. He finished his before I finished mine. Wow. Yeah. Uh, did you find your keyboard kept typing on its own? Oh, no, I did not, Silverholic. In fact, it did that on another application. I'm not sure what was going on here. See, Jenny believes me. Thank you. Donald, where's your fake push-ups comment? I know. Seem fast, says Greg. So C-Rod did them with me. That's 20. And uh, indeed, all right, very good. Trifecta for Terry. All right, let's see here. Let's get back to these comments here. All right, Glenn D., who is here with us. Hello, Glenn D. Good to see you. Commenting now for the Friday Night Live stream. I'll be here. And he is here. Nice, Glenn D. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, okay. Pashka is down $15,000 because of the silver drop. Now, um, you must have purchased at a higher price, a much higher price, a bunch of silver at a higher price. Pashka, did you make a big order? Um, I'm curious. I'm very interested, Pashka, in your order. Did you buy uh, a, a massive amount like a monster box or something? Or several monster boxes at one time? 420 push-ups. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, let's see here. Tricky guy, you deserve an Oscar for pretending to breathe heavily after the fake push-ups. Thank you, my friend. I would prefer an Emmy, though. But, yes, it's fake breathing. I know. Sounds like I'm, yes, indeed, I know, crazy. 
Oh, yes. I've, it's for effect. I gotta exaggerate the breathing and make it seem like it's worth. All right, there you go. Yeah, these they are. Thank you, Silverholic. He's on my side. Thank you. Very good. All right. Stocks though. Okay. C Rod took a bath in the stocks. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'm curious. And see, the thing is, it's interesting because uh, some people, when they buy, they buy a whole bunch at one price. All right. Donna, New Mexico has a fake keyboard problem here. All right. Roy Owen at Huxland says, Trump warned us about the dangers of the United States being reliant on a global supply chain, especially the dependence on Chinese manufacturing. Some people listen. Others called him a xenophobe. Now we're literally paying the price. Good point. Exactly right. Exactly right. Boom. Fake breathing. That's right. <clears throat> I don't actually breathe at all. Okay. 2,500 ounces plus paper silver. Total is a 15K loss. I left paper positions open there. Okay. All right. So this is just from the highs that silver was in your holdings that you've had there. Okay. I see. You may not have bought them all at the same time, but yeah. All right. Very good. Okay, C Rod's LCS is not selling, only buying. Wow. Okay, we're finding that. I need to call my LCS and see uh, if that's the case. Very interesting. Silver Damsel. I bought two tubes of Eagles. Highest ratio I saw was 104.4, but the problem is the dang bullion dealer jacked up their premiums. They're the only ones winning with this dip. Tube of Eagles, 340 over spot. Come on, that blows, but obviously they need to make money too. Yeah, I think that's the, the key, and you're all recognizing that. We'll find out. We'll see. Um, that's indeed here. But, yes, thank you, Silver Damsel. Good to see you. John Knapp is here, but good to see you. Hello to you. Tricky guy. Do sling blade when heavy bring it and get a real strong creep factor going. Mm. Mm. I'm going to keep doing this. That's all you're going to do with them push-ups. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My breathing is real, real breathing, real breathing. Dove season, all right, good to see Dove season here. Northeast, Sal, thoughts on platinum below $800, time to make a move into the middle. I did, I did two days ago before the real big dip, but yes, indeed. And you guys are going to want to stay tuned here. Don't leave yet. As soon as we get to this, these first batch of comments, we're going to play a little game, just a small little game, just something a little fun. Silver never had a chance to shine, yes, indeed. It's shining, just a low price, Terry. All right, very good. Eddie's Little Stack says, I got just got paid, so I'm torn on what to order. Gold, silver, tricky guys use socks. I think, there you go, tricky guys use socks. I love it. What do you think of that, tricky guy? V times Google Plex, I win. There you go. All right, very good. Let's have another slurp for Barbara because I made Barbara laugh. Let's have a slurp for Barbara because I made her laugh. I don't know what I did to make her laugh, but I did it. Because I put her in a foul mood because I was saying positive things about Trump, and that just put her in a foul mood. Oh, my gosh. If, if I was next to her, she'd slap me right now. Jim Farrell says, we create debt, we preserve wealth. They create debt, we preserve wealth. That's right. Stopping by a year later, it's coming down to something bad. It's a zoo out there, not too much on the shelves. Where I stopped, gold, silver, large dog in 357, not much else I can do. We all knew it was coming down the pike. Yes, interesting times, for sure. They create debt, we preserve wealth. I forgot about that video. Okay, let's see here. 80% down on a minor. And John Knapp says, always prepare before the inevitable. Uh, we all know that this is going to happen someday. This may be the big one. I hope I'm wrong. I hope so too. Uh, we shall see, but you never know. This could lead, this could trigger a recession. All right. I'm not going to the potty, I promise. All right. No bum rush yet. John P. says, thanks, Sal. Silver Gold Bulls website says, due to unprecedented order volumes, expect shipping delayed 10 business days. They usually ship across the country in a couple of days. I know the spot price, but premiums are higher than usual. Holding off from silver, but may pick up a one-ounce platinum. Yes, indeed. I hope you can get it. I hope you can get it. Oh, Sling Blade. Huffing imitation. Oh, thank you, Barbara. All right, that was it. Don't you like that? Oh, I do like that, Barbara. Yes, indeed. All right. Uh, Terry just waved at me. Very nice. Terry waved at me. Break from the herd said, I didn't see any panic today from investors. Quite the opposite. Unknown error. I don't know what that's about. But anyways, let's see here. Comment failed to post. Uh, 
Uh, so let's uh, FOMO panic at the moment. Let me see if I can refresh these comments here. They might have a slew that popped up here. But I think the thing kind of crapped out on me here. Just a moment. Come on, get down there. Get down there into Electric Avenue. Where are we at? Yeah, quite a few comments have popped in. All right. It did work. Okay, John P. Oh, I guess that, that a person deleted her comment. Um, what I'm seeing is that the financial gold platinum is sold out by most companies except one ounce platinum. And gold, I see people heading to platinum. The silver goes lower until this panic eases. Yeah, I think there's still, there's opportunity in platinum. I think it's undervalued uh, for sure. Oh, Terry says that was a slap. Okay, that was a slap. Thank you. Mark B can slap his base. Yes, indeed. Slap it, brother. I can do. Let me do that for Mark B. Because Mark B is awesome. Which means that we can do a little... Slap that. Slap happy. Slap happy. We need to figure out how to make a slurp sound with your bass. Ooh, that would be cool. Slap it real good. All right. Here we go. We slurp it and we slap it. That's what we do here. We slurp and slap. All right. <clears throat> silver Turtle 65. The LCSs are out of silver. Not. They aren't selling and probably empty. The display cases are closed because everyone else liked to buy low and so high. When the market gets smashed more than normal, the local coin shop are not willing to take loss. That's a good point. Uh, you're probably onto something there. They're just not selling. I need to call my, I need to call my uh, LCS and act in. My Salarone. There you go, Barbara. That's pretty good. John P. That was actually kind of sloppy, but thank you, my friend. It was a little sloppy. Jeff Christopher. I must pull the trigger some 2020 Silver Eagles, but to wait and see if it spot drops further in the days ahead. Right? Your patience may pay off, sir. A PNC Floyd 86. Buy when there's blood in the streets. I hope metals go down some more so I can back up the truck. Yes, indeed. All right. Talk about Black Friday the 13th. Yes, exactly. I forgot. Today is the 13th. Very good. All right. Hawaii Silver says, I panicked today and ordered 20 pounds of silver. Whoa. 20 pounds. Are you serious? Was that the Seinfeld theme song? No. no I'm not that good. All right, break from the herd. MCM's website crashed this afternoon. Just came back a minute ago. Wow, crazy. Had to grab a tube of ASEs. Nice, I did too. Prepper G Jack, I did as well earlier. All right, very good. All right, that put my mind in the gutter. Oh, that's what we like on this channel, Jenny. We like it when your mind is in the gutter. Yes, indeed. No problems at all with that. All right, very good. We got a game coming up, folks. Stay with me here in just a moment. Montague, great advice, Sal, at the end. I could have bought more today, but I'd be in trouble paying down debt, cash being saved for gold, make some silver purchases when I can, basically. The toilet paper posse got it backwards, taking care of my family is first and foremost. You got your head on your shoulders correctly right. Thank you, my friend. You got a good head on your shoulders. Very good. All right, Truck and Prepper says... It's not a matter of if, it's it's when and how bad you get the virus. I think I'm going to go around licking public door handles and knobs just to get over with. There you go, truck and prepper. I know I've heard that too. Most people feel like it's going to, we're going to get it at some point, like the 1918 Spanish flu, which is essentially still going around today. Whenever you get the flu, it's a version of that. Okay. Mark uh, Schmidt says premiums are high but sustainable once the price goes up. I got $10.90% Roosevelt Dimes from Golden Eagle for $1.50 in premium over ounce. Decided to go back and get another $10. 10 minutes later, the premium went up to $2.39 per ounce. Crazy. Wow. Yes, they are doing nuts. 47420s talks about the $2.99 uh, minimum order from JM Bullion. I did get that email. Most of us did exactly right. 
Silver should have no taste, Jamie Foxx. Silver should have no taste to it. Any taste that you see having silver will be because of the oils on your hands that have touched it. Also, it has no odor either. Prepper Jack says, got another tube of ASCs today. Higher premiums, but still seem like a deal. Yes, indeed. Sure does. All right, guys. Here's the game we're going to play. I've got two coins here. All right. And uh, they're both exactly, well, almost exactly the same diameter. But they're two very different coins, okay? Two very different coins. So, and they're both coins. And I want you to tell me what coin is which by the sound of it. I'm going to flip these two. And uh, the first one I'm going to flip is going to be one. And the second one I'm going to flip is, you'll never guess, it's number two. So, uh, the first coin, tell me what it is. Here we go. Len D got it. Jenny Hansen got it before I even uh, did it. And what's it made out of? What metal was it made out of? What a stupid game, says Terry. Oh my goodness, she doesn't like the I thought for sure you'd like this game. I, I crafted this game specifically for Terry79. And she doesn't like it. Oh my goodness, she doesn't like the game. All right, a Dominican peso. Oh, no, no. Silver, right? Very good. Silver, half dollar. That's right. Very quick. That was easy. All right. The next coin is the same diameter. I'm going to flip it. You tell me what this coin is. Here we go. Ready? This is coin number two. What is this coin? All right, let's see. Okay, people are saying 90% silver on the second one, but notice the sound is very different. Down in New Mexico, this is not live. This is pre-recorded. The answer, skip to the end to get the answer. All right. Same diameter. Nope, not a half dollar. Chuck and Plata has a tin ear. Oh, my goodness. No, not a clad dollar. It's the same diameter. Pretty much the same diameter. I mean, like, almost inextinguishable. The diameter. Not palladium. Good guess, though, John Knapp. Good guess. Not gold. John P., not gold. But what is the coin? Let's see. Two is harder to do. All right, got to run to the store for a wife or anybody need anything? Yes, I need some TP for my bunghole, see, Rod? Thank you so much for being here, my friend. Number one, you know, got it, platinum. But what is the platinum coin? It is platinum, but what coin is it? It's platinum, it's platinum, yeah. It's platinum, platinum. Not a USA coin. It's platinum, okay. Presidential $1, no, it's man of the platinum. But what platinum coin is it? Platinum eagle, not a platinum eagle. But it is platinum. But it is not a platinum eagle. It's not Clorox. It's not a platinum eagle. Uh, let's see here. I'm waiting for the answer, the correct answer. Maple leaf. Terry got it. Terry, congratulations. You get a piece of cheap toilet paper. Just one sheet of toilet paper from your mom. I have contacted your mom and she's going to award you the toilet paper. C-Rod, TP knew that would be one of the items. Yes, indeed. All right, exactly. There you go, C-Rod. Thanks, my friend, again. Platinum Dragon, that'd be cool to have. The Britannia would be cool to have. All right, yes, indeed. Okay. Colorado Kid says, It's hard to figure out what the heck is going on with these markets. The stock market rallies up 2,000 points at the end of the day after President Trump declares a national emergency. Do they think we're going to get another big bailout? On the banks, on the backs of the taxpayers. I don't know. It could be. It's hard to tell. It really is hard to tell. All right. Very good. Platinum Maple Leaf was the answer, guys. Yes, indeed. Larry Lowen says, Precious metal producers will have to shut their door if it goes much lower. How do you keep the lights on when it's this low? I know. It's crazy. 
Especially tanking so fast. It's nuts. All right. Let's see here. Silver switch. This is the end, beautiful friend. A dollar will crash along with Saudi Arabia, Saudi oil. I can't believe uh, it's all playing out as some of you predicted. P.S. Does anyone have any money left after the silver fire sale today? Yes, I know. It's crazy. But it doesn't mean it's the end. It doesn't mean it's the end. You know what I mean? Silver Mac is here. Hello, Silver Mac. Good to see you. Silver Mac, welcome, my friend. Shame on Alan Gold. I agree. Shame on Alan Gold. Okay, let's see here. Kevin W. says, The Dow jumped up due to Trump BS. Go check out the inventories of all your online metal dealers. Some of them are sold out of silver. JMB, Provident, almost gone. Monument has even less silver, gold, very low. Check out the best of buys of silver. Got a real shock what's happening. Oh, yes, U.S. Mint is out of Eagles. Grab it while you can. It's a gift. All right, thanks, Kevin W. For your thoughts here. Yes, indeed. Good to see Bogus. Good to see Repeat. Donald and Terry, very good. Larson says, this is what I like to call shaking off the fleas. Silver will boom very soon. The ruling class is hoping that the middle class will panic and sell their silver, then uh, will skyrocket. Yeah, I think we're going to see things bounce back to some normalcy at some point. Um, and probably sooner than later is my guess, but we'll see. Uh, people are going to be tired of this fretting over the coronavirus soon enough when things start opening up again the markets i think will 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 resume aj 911 i panicked and bought 500 toilet rolls and 50 tubes of anusol all right all right aj mm. all right guys kevin w check best silver buys online and get prepared for a shock Silver is nearly gone at some dealers, and delays or shipping are now in effect. This is your future. We shall see. Crazy. One of those dealers are really out of silver, just don't want to sell. I think it's they don't want to sell at these prices. They're just shutting down sales right now. We shall see. All right. Don, every, time, every day seems like a wild ride right now. We should all expect the up and down volatility to continue, at least for the short term. I agree with that. And us at the close, after the silver sell-off and market upswing, silver is down more than stocks from the 52-week high. I did not see that coming. Interesting indeed. Yes. Crazy. It really is. It shocked me, too. Really surprised. D says, premiums jacked up everywhere right now. I call it price gouging. Yes, I hope we can get some insight from some of these dealers uh, soon enough. I'd like to see that, but I don't know if we will. All right. Okay. Andrew could not resist today. I bought call options on my favorite gold miners. All right. Well, hey, that's a play to make too, for sure. All right. Right now, it seems that demand is not as high as a desire to sell. We have higher volume and dropping prices. So the bears are winning for now. Stay tuned. The things are crazy now. Thanks for all the time and energy you put in your content. Well, thank you. But I'm seeing demand actually pick up. Um, I don't see the desire to sell. Uh, well, I guess we kind of see to see how it plays out. I think it's kind of piggybacking in each other. Foreign silver but valuable worth collecting here in the U.S. I think it just depends. As far as pure stacking, people want to get uh, people are going to want to get um, uh, the. Um, and the most uh, recognizable silver for their buck is what I'm thinking, Jimmy. Okay, Terry, email me your contact info so I can send you a maple. All right, very good. Go ahead and email it to me. I'm waiting for your email. Terry will never email me so I can make the promise and she'll never do it. And I didn't say what kind of maple would be either, but, you know, I digress. Uh, Chief Caney, I just started stacking and bought silver as high as 1830 the spot last month down to 1480. What a nice time for me to poke my head in. Yes, it sure is. And it's a good thing that you understand that this is the way the market moves as a new stacker. That's awesome, Chief Keen. Thank you so much. CCT, have a good night, my friend. Have a good night. Thank you so much for being here, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. Appreciate you, my friend. $49 silver hit about 37 months after the 777% drop. 
Div of 28th, September is 9th, and a bunch of addition there. All right, thank you, sir. J Bar says, Bullion dealers always saying silver's a buy. It was at $18 and gold, silver is at highs. Uh oh, buying opportunity, hurry. But industrial demand destruction and oil price cut in half equals lower silver, lower palladium too. How low will they go? $10 silver, we shall see. But the thing is, is the lower the price is, it typically is an opportunity. Um, and this is an unusually low price for the market the way it is. Um, so, could it go lower? Yes, it could. But it could, and more than likely, will go higher too. Hello, Ontario. Good to see you. Ontario 100 is here. Welcome. All right. Sir Fish Slayer, I will... I will email you if you email me a gold eagle. I could do that. You have a picture of it. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. Hey, we have a new honorary citizen from Brian, Brian Pearson, which I think is new here. Thank you so much, my friend. Brian Pearson is the newest honorary citizen. He is the 10th honorary citizen. And uh, we have one person who is a representative um, yes, indeed. Roy is a representative. Thank you. Welcome, Brian. Thank you so much, my friend. Okay, very good. Uh, Greg, do you think there's a possibility of a shutdown at U.S. Mint or slowdown of supply? No. They're actually working overtime to try to meet orders. There's no shortage of silver. This is just about them fulfilling product orders. Um, in other words, minting more coins. That's where the shortage is. Eric, uh, Solomon, Solomon, I would love to buy today, but I think we're here for a lot lower prices, as little as one month. Would rather buy gold because bullion dealers are not lowering their prices enough in silver. Um, yeah, I know. I tell you what, is a, it is an idea. We're not seeing the, the it's quite as low prices for um, for gold as we have in silver. But yes, I hear you. I know what you mean. Yes, Roy Owen, he's here. Roy is here. He is the the sole representative. By the way, Roy, did you get my post? You were able to see a video that I'm going to be posting tomorrow. I posted it in the um, on the community tab or whatever. So hopefully you saw that. You're the only one that saw it because you're my only representative. That's one of the perks. So just a little FYI. Uh, anything that I have on deck, you'll be able to see before anybody else. All right. Uh, to tell, let's die. How much physical gold is available at these prices? With reasonable prices, I'm looking around and I see prices over sixteen hundred dollars. Yes, yeah, those premiums are going to be there. Sixteen hundred dollars is considered a, a fair deal for uh, for a gold. It seems like now. Mm. <clears throat> IRS may be closing buildings next week. Okay, wow. Okay, I right, cool. Thanks, Roy. Appreciate it. That's right. Terry doesn't get special salvids. Daniel Boardrunner Lamb says silver is like the South shall rise again. All right. That's how. There you go. Florida Stacker says silver has now crashed seven of the last nine times the market has crashed. Not buying much yet. Mondays are notoriously bad during bear markets. Yeah. So Monday could be worse. We shall see. All right, take care, Dove Season. Thank you so much for being here, Dove Season 91. I appreciate you, sir. Have a wonderful evening. All right. Dale Bullrunner Lamb bought three maple leaves and five ounce bar from SD Bullion. Congratulations. Indeed. Silver Mac, people buying toilet paper for upper respiratory is like an astoria, acetory infection. That's right, exactly, Silver Mac. Well stated. That's pretty good. All right, we're almost at the end of our rope here, too, in this live stream. Man, the prices really went, down, really went down. Hey, Sal, I'm going to have to get that one-ounce Platinum Eagle now. Yes, I ordered one. It was a good opportunity to buy it, so I went ahead and made that order. Another piece to play with, perhaps, hopefully, is what I'm thinking. All right. Raton Jr. bought some today. My buddy bought some today. GSR now at 161. By the way, my dealer says it's break even because lower he will stop selling. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay. There we go. 
Daniel Bullrunner Lamb says, Soon the high premiums will become the new price of silver. Even if silver hits the dollar, the premiums will be higher. And I will not sell for less than the premiums. Yes. Yep, that's true. I can see it. All right. Steve Woods is here, by the way. Hello, Steve Woods. Good to see you. Those who bully are cowards. I'm kind of hoping silver will drop to 10 bucks an ounce. And it very well could. We'll see. We shall see. All right. Jay Howard says, I swear, even after the spot price dropped three bucks, I'm still going to have to pay 1883 minimum. I know it sucks. What's the point of a spot price that the dealers are just going to raise the premium? Almost as much to drop. Especially when they have that insurance that protects them. Uh, they, they do that. They, there was something that talked about that. And, uh, but I think some of it is because of the shortage. But there's other uh, things involved. But I'd love to ask one of these dealers. I hope they will agree to an interview. I did put some feelers out there for this. Because then they'd be good to see their perspective on this. Buy stocks and toilet paper. Big demand. Yes, indeed. Looking for Terry79's email. No email with contact information for Terry79. No phone number or panty pics. Jay Debu, there was a fire sale today. I ordered my first 100 ounce silver bar. Nice. Very nice. Mark B received the 2020 Swan, Queen's Beast and Canada Goose. It was nice. Awesome. I got a Canada Moose too, but it was uh it was not in a flip. Just hanging in there capsule. I've got it right here. There's a video coming on it someday. I may not post it. I don't know. All right. Oh, great bearded one. $12 with $5 premium. The same as $16.50 with $0.50 cent premium. Basically, silver stayed at $17, ounce, $17 an ounce for ages. Anytime you can buy below price, you are doing good. Yes, indeed. That's right. All right. Very good. Step Stacker says, at this point, I only trust the Yankee stacking round. Why does your episode start out with an aerial view of broccoli? Because I'm chopping broccoli, chopping broccoli, chopping broccoli. Love broccoli. Ah, we're good. She's a beaut, Clark. Thank you so much, Jay. The Platinum Eagle unboxing video. I didn't stop sending me nudes. Oh man, nudes, nudes, noodles. I like to noodle with my nudes. All right, I think we're about done, guys. We've been going for about two hours here, and we got more comments that have popped through here. Fifty Shades of Awesome. All the online dealers and local coin shop are pretty wiped out today. Crazy. Yeah, wiped out or just stopped selling. M nice M BJSC couldn't handle any more orders and stopped accepting new ones. Monument Metals has a notice that are not shipping for ten days. Physical demand has never been larger. What is driving this price down? Crazy. Yes, I think uh, people are just um, they're, they're panicking. Well, that's the only thing I can think of. They're wanting to get cash, and a lot of this is probably in the in the paper markets. Probably a lot of it in the paper markets. All right, take care. Repeat 74. Take care, my friend. Thanks for being here. Brian Driver. Spot price drops to less than $15. Amex still charging 1819 per Silver Eagle. Well, BS because when spot price rises 10 cents, so does Amex price. Yes, I know. I would love to get Amex's and other dealers' uh, explanation on that. Blue Dogfish says, I bought in fear an opportunity today. Eight silver 100-ounce bars. Wow. And six gold maple leaves today. Wow, that's the hugest purchase I've seen on my comments in the last day or two. Amazing. All right, how low can we go? I don't know. Good question. Thoughts on buying platinum? Uh, well, I've put several videos on it, Brian. I think that, Brian, we will see. Uh, I think it's a good buy. I made a, a purchase of it yesterday, Brian. So I think so. Don't scratch my plate in the maple. It's already scratched. Uh, I've sniffed too. I licked it too. You can have my spit on it if I mail it to you. 
Silver Drill Pickle, we'll see you Sunday. Take care. Thank you, Silver Drill Pickle. Oh, man. All right, guys. Local coin shop said they couldn't sell junk silver for less than 13 face. Huge premiums bar as well. I did buy a few dozen. All right. Probably because they're typically high non-movers for the LCS. There's apparently supply shortage. The LCS is having to pay premiums over spot paper, gold, and silver selling to cover margin calls, causing major problems in the physical market. Yes. We'll see what demand does in next week. Very good. Did Centuria Sylvia make it? Or no, I haven't seen Centuria on this one. I've not seen him on this one. But guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all you guys. A multitude of gratitude. We had a fun time tonight. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, thank you, Vogus. Have a good night. He's got to go to work today. Is my is my Monday. Have a good night. Thanks, Vogus. And thank you all for being here. A multitude of gratitude, you all, for watching. Keep it feeding the stars and keep reaching for your silver and gold and anything else you can get your hands on. Take